Yeah, no, you need different lead forms with different automations that are pulling to different pipelines. If you're talking about how to segregate it by client, then yeah, you need different automations for each client. And then if even if one client has multiple things, like has a basement, you know, kitchen or whatever, so uh, sometimes we'll even do three different lead forms for that one client because he has three different services and we want those leads coming in with specific tags into the CRM and specific uh, things. I'm, I'm, I, yeah, I'm asking this because when I saw like the, the messages that you sent in the snapshot of the contractors, I saw that you were writing like, kitchen basements and you know you, you write like in the in the first message yeah uh, because, because the, the the snapshot is not like ready to use right any snapshot that i ever give you is going to be like it's going to have like general terms in it and like how you should structure it but you got to like rewrite it for this specific thing so like usually it's we keep the the snapshot general and then when the uh when it comes to actually doing it for the client you want to just like rewrite it like if they only do basements then take away the other two and just say like your basement you know um as an example so you can so need engagement sequence for for each uh, for each uh, facebook form and other different engagement sequence yeah i would do that yeah exactly and then even in your engagement sequence like for example here i'll show you something real quick so for example if I go to campaigns and I just go new campaign, call it Michael one test. Okay, so the first thing that goes out is like a text, um, you know, specifically from, uh, you know, saying like, hey, thank, hey, John. Thanks for signing up on my tick talk ads i looked this uh, this is avi and i look forward to speaking with you what is your home address for the hvac system installation something like that okay, okay save and then you would add an event, add another text. And this time what you can do is go like this. You know, you get a fire picture. save the image and then you come back to yeah you come back here you'll attach file so now it's just going to send another text with the picture mm -hmm. you see so you go mm -hmm. save so now check check this out. So now you you come into your engagement sequence. This goes out after one minute. And this goes out after one minute as well. And then you send a third text being like, when are you free to discuss? We have a amazing grant program that will change, that will that does not cost anything out of pocket essentially getting you the furnace for free uh, house okay tomorrow right so this would be in an hvac system so first you have okay this is i saw that you signed up on my ads this is avi look forward to speaking with you what's your home address for the HVAC uh, system installation, right? And that's after them signing on an HVAC ad, right? Um, after they sign up on the HVAC ad a minute later, they're going to get that specific question. And then it's going to send them a text with a picture showing the actual like HVAC systems available. And then it's going to say, when are you free to discuss? We have an amazing grant program that does not cost anything out of pocket, essentially getting you the furnace for free. How's tomorrow? You know? And if, if yeah, let's I mean, set that up 
on even if you don't even expand it and you just call this one here instead of michael test we'll call it you know you said uh one of them is doing basements right so we'll call mm -hmm. this whatever hvac and then you have this in publish mode and then you just trigger this engagement sequence off of the zap whenever a new lead comes in from the lead form you create a zap that will you know trigger this yeah. engagement sequence. okay Okay, I understand. Yeah, it's, it's, so if it's for very basement, I can send like a photo of, uh, you know, for a walk of my clients, uh, things like this. Yeah, like second, let's, uh, say, let's just uh, say you go to workflows, you'll create a workflow, start from scratch. You can even do this within GHL. You say like this, lead form, Facebook lead form. Okay, you're going to, you're going to filter which lead form you want. And then you come here and you go... Okay, so you can just add a tag and we'll call this tag. So the tag we're gonna have is gonna be the uh, HVAC, HVAC lead, right? And then add new tag. So it's gonna produce that save action off the lead form, right? And this is gonna be our HVAC lead form example. Okay, so when you have an HVAC lead form, we're gonna even, uh, we're gonna call this uh, HVAC lead form submitted. So now anytime an HVAC lead form is submitted, then basically you're adding a tag saying HVAC lead. That's all you're doing. Save that. Once that's done, then you go to campaigns and we go to our campaign that we just built for HVAC. Um, and then we can publish it. Once it's published, we just go to triggers. And we go add trigger, and then we say HVAC uh, campaign enrollment, right? And then we come here, um, save it. This is going to be the trigger when a tag is applied. So contact tag is added, and it's HVAC system or whatever we made it. So right over here, HVAC lead, whenever this HVAC lead tag is applied, add the action, which is going to be add to campaign, select campaign, HVAC right here, okay? And then you would put this activate and save. So even from GHL, you can set up the whole engagement sequence, have it all roll and basically uh, you know, keep them in there. Now I'm going to save this, but you're also going to, if you're going to do it this way, then you're also going to need a trigger where basically you add a new trigger here and you call this remove if replied, right? And here you're going to do another trigger, which is going to be replied on customer replied, add filter. You can do replied to campaign and then select the campaign, which is going to be our HVAC question and answer campaign we're running we're running right so if they reply mm -hmm. then we're going to go add an action which is going to be remove so we remove from campaign and then we remove them from the hvac test and then we activate this and save it that's it so if they reply to this previous campaign where we're sending them the hvac questions and images and stuff then we're going to remove them from that sequence so they don't keep getting dripped right so, and that's all you would need to set up. So within like pretty much five, six minutes, you can have the lead form connected. You just need a new lead form and you need to connect it for each of the services and then have separate engagement sequences like the ones we, like the one we just built. Um, so just to recap, you need the engagement sequence, you need the lead form, um, you need the enrollment trigger, which is a workflow. So you need the workflow to actually like add the lead form um into uh add the lead into ghl and then you need a trigger to remove the the lead um you know you have to set up a tag as well to enroll so okay does this make sense yeah yeah it makes sense yes i understand okay so it's different forms and also different campaign for each of the services not uh, including like the all the services in the same campaign sorry say that again for on the camp the campaign in the Facebook, 
I will like uh, I don't I don't will put like the same services in the same campaign. I will make it different campaigns. Yeah, you can make different campaigns with different reports. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 